What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you about translations. All right, so a translation is just when you have like a line or a figure, a shape, whatever, and you literally just slide it, move it somewhere else like that, okay? You don't rotate it, you don't change the size, you literally just slide it, all right? So those are translations. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. <laughs> just kidding. This is mad, dude. You know we're about to complicate this shit. All right, so, there's obviously a lot more we can do with translations. So that includes vectors, that includes writing translation rules, that includes uh, compositions, all right? So we're gonna cover all those topics in this video. So a translation, again, it's still just moving or just sliding something along the, the plane over here, okay? But one way we can describe it a little more specifically is that we're moving it along a vector. So a vector would be something like, yeah, that's good enough. That's a vector right there, okay? So it looks like just a normal line, but a vector specifically has magnitude and direction, okay? So you can obviously see this is pointing in a specific direction, but a vector, again, also has magnitude. So things of magnitude would be like velocity, momentum, force, right? So don't get too hung up on the magnitude part of this. The part we need to focus on more is the components of a vector, okay? So first of all, let's label our ends right here. Let's say P and Q, okay? So right here where the vector starts, this is called your initial point, initial point. And here where the vector ends is called the terminal, terminal point. Okay, now this vector here, we can break down into its components, specifically X and Y components, okay? So to get from this initial point to this terminal point, we can first go in the x direction, right? So this vector goes in this x direction, and then it goes up in this y direction. So in the x direction, how many spaces did we move? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So we moved five spaces to the right, and then we went up one, two, three, right? Okay, so here we can say that vector PQ, okay, so we'll write that as vector, that's a little symbol, PQ, has components of five and three, okay? But specifically, it has five in the x direction and three in the y direction, okay? So just like a normal set of coordinates, we always put the x first and then the y, right? So this, again, is five comma three, okay? This is the vector in component form, okay? Now, what if we wanted to move our line segment over here along vector PQ? How could we do that? Well, again, the components would be moving it to the right along the x direction, five spaces, and then up in the y direction, three spaces. But the more specific way of doing that is just start at one of your points here. Okay, so let's just say point A, and then we'll count from there. So starting from point A, we'll move one, two, three, four, five spaces to the right, and then up one, two, three. Okay, so this is where point A is gonna be now. Okay, so again, we're gonna move this whole segment to the right, one, two, three, four, five spaces, and then up, one, two, three. Okay, so that's where we just translated it. Okay, so you might notice now we basically have like an original and we have a copy. So one thing we have to do is change the copy a little bit, so specifically the points. So here, point A is now gonna be point A prime, and down here, B is going to be B prime, okay? So on your copy, just make sure you add the little prime symbols on those, just to denote that this is the one that we moved. Okay, and one last thing we're gonna mention right here. Um, so again, this is the original segment, right? Segment AB. Now, the original segment is known as the pre-image, or in other words, the image before you made a copy, right? So that's why the word pre is in here, because it's the one before the copy, okay? So then the other one right here, uh, A prime, B prime, right? So segment A prime, B prime, this one is known as the image, or in other words, the copy. So now that we got this little intro out of the way, let's jump into some examples. All right, so here's our first one. So this one says the vertices of triangle DEF are D, two comma five, E is at six comma three, and F is at four comma zero. Translate triangle DEF using the vector three, or sorry, negative three, negative seven, okay? Graph DEF and its image, or in other words, its copy, okay? So first of all, let's start with the first step, right? So the vertices 
are right here. Okay, so let's just graph these first. So D again is at two comma five, right? So two comma five. So this is D right there. Uh, e is at six comma three, right? So E is at six comma three, this is E. And then F is at four comma zero, okay? Four comma zero, this is F. Okay, and we were told that this is a triangle. Wow, that's not bad right there. Right there, okay, good, one more, uno mas, let's do it, let's do it. Nah, that one sucked. All right, good enough. So here's our triangle, all right? Now we're going to translate triangle DEF using the vector negative three, negative seven. Okay, so remember, this is our X component and this is our Y component. Okay, so we're gonna move all of our points, negative three spaces in the X direction and then negative seven spaces in the Y direction. Okay, so for example, starting right here with point D, we're gonna move three spaces to the left in the negative direction, X direction, right? So one, two, three, and then we're gonna move down negative seven spaces in the Y direction, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is where point D is now. Okay, so again, this is gonna be D prime. And this is at negative one, negative two, right? Negative one, negative two, right? The reason I'm writing this down is because I wanna show you there's another way we can basically move our points like this, okay? So first of all, D right here is at two comma five, right? So D originally was at two comma five, but then we had to move the X coordinate, negative three spaces, and the Y coordinate, negative seven spaces. So another way we could write this out would be as two minus three, okay, minus three, and then our Y right here is five, so then we would move our five, negative seven spaces, right? So negative seven. Okay, so then here, two minus three, that's equal to negative one, and five minus seven is equal to negative two. Okay, so then we could just plot that point, negative one comma negative two, okay? So you can do it either way. You can just pick a point and count your spaces, or you can take your starting point and then just add or subtract your x and y's, okay? So here, I'm just gonna, again, count spaces. So we just moved D, now let's move E. So again, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so here's E, E prime, I should say. Okay, and then lastly, F, right? So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so here's F prime. Okay, and now we can draw this in. Boom, all right. So that was the last part, right? Graph, D, F, and it's doppelganger, it's copy right here. All right, now here I'm gonna show you how to write a rule for a translation, all right? So this one says, write a rule for the translation of triangle ABC to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Okay, so here is triangle in blue, triangle ABC, right? And then A prime, B prime, C prime is this one in orange, okay? So we're starting at this triangle right here, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do is just write X comma Y. Okay, so how do we get from triangle ABC to our other triangle right here? Well, you only have to track one of the points. Okay, so for example, you can see how many spaces you have to move in the X direction and the Y direction from, to go from A to A, or you could go from B to B, or you can go from C to C, or, you know, C prime, okay? So in this case, uh, let's just pick B, okay? So we're gonna go from B to B prime, okay? So we're starting from B. Now, in order to get to B prime, first we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six spaces in the X, X direction, right? Negative X direction. And then we have to go up one, two, three. Okay, so starting from X, we're gonna go back six, okay? So starting from X, we're gonna go back six. So subtract six. And then uh, from here, we're gonna go up in the positive direction, one, two, three. Okay, so in the positive direction, right, the y direction, we're gonna go up three, so add three. Okay, and then you can check any of these points and you'll find out that when you plug in any of these points into this little uh, equation right here, you're gonna end up at these points over here, all right? So for example, let's check this one right here, A. Okay, so if we wanna plug in these points right here, well, A is at five comma one, right? So let's check A. A is at five comma one, okay? So then if we plug it into this little translation expression, okay, we're gonna have, so we're gonna plug in five for X and one for Y, right? So we're gonna have 
5 minus 6 and 1 plus 3. Okay, now 5 minus 6, that's equal to negative 1, and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, so a prime, and I should put that right there, a prime is right here, a prime. Okay, so a prime should be at negative 1 comma 4. All right, so let's check it. A prime is at negative 1 comma 4. Okay, now let's try this one, which is going to be kind of similar to the last one. So this one says use the translation uh, x of x comma y to x minus 8 y plus 4. Okay, so then it's asking us these two questions right here. What is the image of a 2 comma 6? Okay, so first of all, here it says a, not a prime, right? So we know this is the original. And it's asking what is the image, right? So image, remember, is the copy. Okay, or in other words, you can think of it as a prime. Okay, so here it's just asking, what is a prime when a is equal to two comma six? Okay, so here, uh, let's write it out here. So again, this is the translation equation that it gives us, right? So x minus eight, y plus four. Okay, so it's telling us that we're starting at a is two comma six, right? And then we're gonna go to basically a prime, right? It's asking us what is a prime, right? What is the image? What is the copy? What is a prime? And we have to use this little equation to figure it out. So then here, we're gonna plug in two and six into these right here. Okay, so we're gonna plug in two for x right there. So we're gonna have two minus eight. And then here we're gonna have six plus four, six plus four. Okay, so then that means a prime is at two minus eight, which is negative six, and six plus four, which is 10. Okay, so a prime is at negative six comma 10 when a is at two comma six, right? Now let's go to this next one. So this one asks, what is the pre-image? Okay, so in this case, it's asking for the original one of c prime. Okay, so here it's giving us c prime. So we want to know where c is, okay? And it's telling us that c prime is at negative three comma negative 10. Okay, so in this case, we're looking for C, okay? We don't know where C, we don't know where the original one is, right? But we know that this little equation ends up at negative three, negative 10, right? So again, let's write it out. X minus eight comma Y plus four. Okay, so again, we don't know what X or Y is, but we do know when we plug it into here. So for example, we know when we plug it into here, our answer comes out as negative three, right? So we get a negative three right there. Okay, and again, we don't know what y is, but we know when we plug in whatever the y is, our answer that pops out is negative 10. Okay, so this is negative 10. Okay, so in order to solve for x and y, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say x minus eight is equal to negative three. And here I'm gonna say y plus four is equal to negative 10, all right? So then here to solve, first of all, for x, we can add eight to both sides, those cancel out. So we get x is equal to negative three plus eight, which is positive five, right? And then over here for y, we'll subtract four from both sides. These cancel out. So then we get y is equal to negative 10 minus four, which is negative 14, okay? So we just found the original five, or sorry, the original x and the original y. So c is at five comma negative 14. Boom. All right, so that's the pre-image of C prime. All right, now the last thing we're gonna talk about are compositions, all right? So a composition is when you translate a, an image or a figure or a line or anything two times, okay? So here we have uh, this problem right here. So it says graph segment RS with endpoints at R negative eight comma five and S is at negative six comma eight and its image after the composition. Okay, so first of all, Let's graph this segment right here, RS. So R is at negative eight comma five, uh, right there. And S is at negative six, eight. So negative six, eight is right there. Okay, so we're going to move this line two times. Okay, that's what a composition is. So first of all, this is the first way we're gonna move it using this first translation right here. Okay, so let's do R first. Okay, so R again is at negative eight, comma five, right? So then we're gonna plug it into this uh, equation right here, this first one, x plus five, y minus two. Okay, so let's do that again. So r prime is at x plus five, y minus two, all right? So again, we're gonna plug in negative eight and five into x and y right here. 
So then uh, R prime is going to be at, let's plug those in, negative eight and five. So negative eight plus five, that's equal to negative three. And five minus two is equal to positive three, okay? So R prime is at negative three comma three. Okay, so negative three comma three, this is R, or sorry, R prime. And let's make sure we label these also. So this one's just R and this one's just S. Okay, now we could plug in S into this translation also, but a shortcut we can use is, well, to get from R to S, we need to move over two times and then up three times, right? So we can do the same thing here. To get from R prime to S prime, we can just move over two times and then up three times. So then we know S prime is gonna be right there. Okay, so that's R prime, S prime. Okay, and what points are these at? Well, again, R prime is at negative three comma three, right? And S prime is at negative one comma six, right? So negative one comma six. Okay, so now this is the line we're working with, okay? So we're done with this first translation, all right? That completely goes away. Now we're gonna plug in this line with these coordinates into this second translation equation, okay? So here, we're gonna say r prime is at negative three comma three, right? Is at negative three comma three, okay? So now we're gonna try and get to r prime prime, okay? So since we're moving it one additional time, we need to add an extra little prime uh, sign on it, okay? So the equation for r prime prime is this one right here, x minus four, y minus two, okay? So x minus four, y minus two. Okay, so we're gonna plug in our x and y right in here. Okay, so x is negative three and y is positive three, right? So r prime prime is at, uh, our x coordinate is at negative three minus four, so that's equal to negative seven, and three minus two is equal to one. Okay, so r prime prime is at negative seven comma one. So r prime prime, so it's gonna be at negative seven comma one, okay? And so again, this is R prime prime, okay? Now, again, we could plug in S prime, right? S prime was at negative one comma six. We could plug this in into this little equation right here also, but we can take that little shortcut again, right? Just go over two, up three, right? So that's what we'll do here. We'll go over two, up three, okay? So that means S prime prime is right there, okay? So then there's our second line. Okay, so we went from segment RS to R prime S prime, and then we went from R prime S prime to R prime prime S prime prime. All right, so here's the last problem we're gonna go over, and it's kind of the reverse of the last one, okay? So in this one, we want to write the composition, all right? We wanna write both of the translations. We wanna see how we get from A to A prime to A double prime. Okay, so first of all, so let's start with our first translation. Okay, so let's just say we're starting at A, all right, because for this problem, you really just have to track one point, okay? So we can figure out, again, how to get from A to A prime, and then from A prime to A double prime. Okay, so first of all, to get from A to A prime, we have to go over in the positive X direction, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, right? So then here, we know we're gonna start at A, and then we're gonna go positive six spaces in the X direction, okay? And then uh, for Y, again, we're starting at Y, right? We're starting at Y, and then to get to A prime, we have to go down one, two, three, four times, right? So negative four spaces. So then here we're gonna have minus four. Okay, so that's the first translation. Now to get from A prime to A double prime, okay? A prime to A double prime. Okay, so now this one is our starting point, right? And then we just wanna to get to here to A double prime. So here, first, we need to go in the X direction, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, right? So negative six spaces in the X direction, right? So we have our starting point, and then we're gonna go back six spaces in the X direction. Now for our Y, uh, again, we're starting here. Uh, but we're not moving in the y direction, right? We, all we're doing is moving along the x direction to end up here. We don't move up or down vertically. So here, our y doesn't change, 
Okay, so y just stays as y. You could put plus zero if you want, if that kind of clears it up, but you can just leave it as y. Okay, so those are your two translation equations. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.